So Riverdale, the final season, when you just went back to work, stepping on set, did it feel different than all the times before? It does, it does. It has a bittersweet feeling to it. And I think I'm kind of just trying to approach this season with uh, not taking anything for granted, really trying to be present, trying to enjoy my co-stars. So it is, it's different for me at least. I love, I love that you say trying to embrace your co-stars and just having fun. Yeah. You know the TikToks, the three I of do. you together. How much, we need to be paying you for this. This content is so We free. found out today that we were nominated for a Streamy Award. I don't know what that is, but. Yes, it's I was like, hey man, I it's what we do to entertain ourselves on set and now. It's just funny. We we laughed at it, like in a very, oh, that's sweet well, kind of way. Well, they're hilarious. And I, I have to know, as the show comes to a close, will the TikTok account live on? I mean, we're all going to be going in such different directions, like location-wise, that I hope that when we do hang out and come together, we can find a way to make a TikTok. Yeah, 100%. And have you thought about what from the set you're planning to steal or what, what of Betty's wardrobe you want? I'm not allowed to take the wardrobe. No, no, no. no. I mean, I could steal something. I don't know. I, you know, I don't want to hoard anything. I have literally the episodes, the 100 plus episodes that I've done. I don't need anything physical. I'm taking the experience with me. And as you take that experience and you step into your next chapter, I know you've got a production company and that's got to be really exciting. What is the kind of content that is going to come next for you? Well, my production company has been really focused on telling uh, modern stories. We, we think that media right now is not exactly catching up to the real world and doesn't accurately reflect how young people feel. And since I'm such a big mental health advocate, we want to focus on telling those kinds of stories and also queer and inclusive stories and hiring uh, as many women writers and directors as possible. I love that. Yeah. I have to tell you, I just read your interview in, I believe it was Hunger Magazine, uh -huh. and you said something really striking to me. You said you really hate the word famous and yeah. you hate the Ooh. word celebrity. Yeah. I'm curious, how do you as an actress balance being a public figure when you know there is so much interest in your personal life? It's, it's interesting because I am such an open book, yeah. so I'm like, uh, what are boundaries? <laughs> but um, I think it's sort of taking it on, honestly, like an interview by interview basis and see if I feel like opening up, I will. And I know the certain parts of my life that I want to protect at this point, and, and I do a good job of doing that. But I think uh, I'll always be willing to talk about the subjects that a lot of people maybe are too afraid to do so, and I would hope that it kind of sets an example for others to join in the conversation. For sure. Yeah. What did you make of the reaction to you talking about the Met Gala? Do you really want to go back? Um, you know, it's an honor to be asked to go. I think uh, I would love to go again. Mm -hmm. I, I think I would love for everything I say about it to stop being an article, <laughs> but um, but I'm very, I'm very fortunate that I've been able to go for three times that's an honor so for you know sure. would love to be welcomed back but understand if, if not my last question for you I love how outspoken you are I have to tell you your bravery is something to be admired you. putting yourself out there is not easy in this moment in this era of Lily as you kind of say goodbye to Riverdale and step into your next chapter what do you want your fans to know I think I want my fans to see me as 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 a, as a serious actor mm -hmm. I think that's why I'm here that's why I entered this industry because my heart is really in acting and I'm just a performer and the advocacy kind of just came along for the ride and I'm so happy that it did but I really want to sink my teeth into beautiful storytelling and I hope that's how people start to see me.